Hi, my name is Frederico Hakamini. I'm product marketer here at Okta. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Radius app in line enrollment, a new feature that we are rolling out on Early Access EA this month. What the Radius app in line enrollment does, it basically allows any user to enroll in MFA factors such as Okta Verify and SMS without having to go to Okta.com in order to do that. The major benefit is basically user experience. So your users can enroll in MFA from the same VPN they are connecting to, and this VPN is integrated to Okta. The way you use it is pretty simple. You still leverage the same Radius agent that you have in Okta, and the only thing that you gotta do on top of it after enabling this feature is to actually use the app model, the Radius app model in Okta, and create your app using the OIN. After that, you just assign your app to your users, make sure you have an enrollment policy for your users with MFA, and that's it. You start using the app enrollment, it just works. Now that you know how it kind of works, what about we jump over the demo so you see this in action? We're gonna start by exploring the Okta dashboard, going through the application and checking out our Radius app that's already created and configured. After that, we're gonna go to the multi-factor enrollment policies and set up a policy to make sure our engineering team is required to enroll in MFA on the first time they are challenged for it. And finally, we're gonna go to our VPN and check it out the results. So to do that, let's head over to Okta. So let me start from the dashboard so you can see the whole flow. So here I am on my dashboard and the first thing I'm going to do is head over to application and make sure I have already a Radius application configured here. In my case, I already have a VPN uh, F5 assigned to my remote engineering team. In my case, here in my example, I want to have people from my engineering team accessing uh, uh, my VPN my network via VPN and they are using F5. Because this is a Radius application using the Radius app model, this application is created here at Okta and I can see details about my Radius uh, settings such as the UDP port I'm using for it, the shared, uh, the secret key which is hidden for security purpose and how I'm gonna, for example, uh, have advanced settings such as report the client IP or include group and other information on the Radius response. One thing within my Radius app is that I require MFA on every VPN session that's established. Now that I know everything is set up, everything is okay, and I have this application active, I can head over to multi-factor. And from there, I can go to factor enrollment, and I can create a policy that will require my users, in this case, my engineering team, to actually enroll in MFA during an access. So to do this, let me just create a policy. So my policy will be named engineering team and gonna select the engineering remoting you know and then I can select the factors that I'm gonna support uh, so as you can see, I have a bunch of factors already uh, available over here. I'll leave them all uh, optional, but you're going to see that from this extensive list, only few of these authenticator or these MFA factors will be available on the inline enrollment. So to finish, let me create this policy and... Enroll MFA on first challenge, and the first time the user is in fact challenged for MFA, I'm gonna make sure the user will enroll in it. Just make sure I won't have any problems. Let me drag it over, have this as the first policy, like usual in Okta. I can see that everything is active, so we are actually ready to test. To do this, let me start a new session here. 
I have my F5 proxy just in case let me refresh over here and since I've been using this uh, proxy sorry this VPN for several tests you can see that I have several different uh, menu options here usually for you if you have just one you're gonna have a prompt for login straight so let me just click radius octa support different ways you can enroll in multi-factor authentication I'm gonna go with multi-step and then here I'm gonna enter my username and password for this test I'm using radius dot enroll in my password now I'm gonna hit log on so here's the first thing you gotta figure out oh, sorry you, you you can check it out so regardless of the options I selected for enrollment here and as you can see I have one two three four five six seven eight options so my VPN just show a subset of it which are the um, factors that are supported on the inline enrollment in my case I have call push or SMS on this case let me just enter zero to abort so you can see what happens so if I decide not to enroll in MFA the response we're gonna have is an access reject so I actually must enroll in order to continue so okay let's go ahead and do it so let me log in as radius enroll in my password and hit log on again this time I'm actually gonna go and enroll in MFA uh, let me use SMS which is a pretty straightforward way of doing this and hit log on here so I got a phone so I gotta enter my phone number let me enter one over here so now I need to wait and get an SMS in order to continue which I got from my phone so let me enter the code 905 272 and hit log on here enrollment successful let me hit zero to continue okay now that I enrolled in SMS I can even select a backup factor so for example I'm gonna go and select call with call I still need to enter a phone number and the reason why is that sometimes you want to have a different number maybe you can have your uh, work number with your extension as you can see in the example over here I'm gonna hit log on so I just got a call I'm gonna answer to it It's okay. Now that I got the call, let me hit log on with my number and the enrollment is successful. So let me keep going. And you know what? That's enough for me. I could do in push, but for the sake of time, let me just finish my login. And as you can see, I finished logging in into my VPN. So if I was using a VPN fat client, let's say one that sits on my desktop, I would be able to do the entire enrollment myself through that fat client as well. And this is basically the way the inline enrollment works. To solve the Radius app inline enrollment in action, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips so you have your configuration going as fast as possible without trouble. So the first tip I'm gonna give you is about the inline enrollment, the enrollment role in MFA. One thing you gotta make sure you have are the MFA factors that are supported by the Radius app inline enrollment. Those factors are the Octa Verify with push or OTP and also SMS. The second thing you've got to make sure you have is the app module feature enabled in your Octa org. The app module basically exposes your Radius application, such as your VPN, your firewall, etc., as an app in OIM. 
and you need that in order again to have the app in line rolling. With that, I believe you have everything to get going to configure your radius. And if you have any questions, just come up here to the help center and we can go and help you out. Thank you. Bye bye.